So this is the official, I guess, guide for D6 in cycling in a six stage race. You can apply this to a, to the one stage race as well, what I'm about to say, but it's not... This is more guided towards the actual D6 because in a one stage race you get drafts and that means you're going to play it differently every time, but in a six stage race you're going to do the same thing every time. There's not really much to say at the beginning here, just, I guess, ration your stamina well enough to where you have about a heart when you reach the top of the hill. Also, yeah, I, I happened to start in second. Really lucky on my part, although the drafts I get is so small that it doesn't really change much. So, you just want to, I guess, don't pedal too much, just, I guess just copy me, I don't really have much to say about this part. This part is weird. So you'll see I'm going to do a power slide into the volcano entrance, and how I do it is weird timing. So you'll see, as I'm reaching the top, you're going to watch my mean, you'll see me sprint. I'll sprint for about a second or so to make sure I've got as much speed as possible going into it. I sprint, and then as soon as, as, soon as I reach this section here, you see how there's a light green like grass stripe and a dark green one? As soon as I reach the dark green one... I initiate my power slide and then when I reach the end of the dark green stripe that is when I boost and you'll see it's when I boost out of the power slide it's not a normal boost you'll see again my me is sprinting you'll see me sprint for about a second or so like that and then so I get a lot of speed when I'm going down this hill and because of the speed we have it also means you don't need to boost once you're going down this hill you can ride down this whole little hill here without boosting and then when you finally reach this actual like bend over here, then you can boost. Okay, so this next section is very important if you want to be able to hug the wall inside the volcano without hitting it. So you're going to see about, I think it's, yeah, it's four boosts at very specific points in the volcano. Take note of when I do those boosts, because it's very important. You need to boost at the exact same points I do, because it just kind of manipulates the auto steer to just work, I guess. I don't know everything about this game. So yeah, you'll see I boost around here. You can't really see it, but there is... The, the volcano starts to go slightly uphill in this section. You can't really see it, but it is there. So yeah, you want to boost at this exact point, and then when it starts, and then again, you want to boost at the exact point I do here, like where this pole is, roughly. And then, you can't really see it again, but you can see it in game a bit. It starts to go downhill here, so this part is downhill. So you want to start to boost again once it starts to go uphill, which is where I'm trying to highlight with my mouse cursor. So yeah, once you start going uphill, you want to boost again. And then when you're about here where I am, you want to turn right as tightly as possible. And once you get to about this pole, then you can boost. And then this section is just boosting. <laughs> I guess that's just out. You just want to sp sprint. I, I messed that up. I can't be bothered redoing the video because of that. But <laughs> Yeah, so when you reach this part as well, this is why you need stamina. Because you're reaching an, an uphill section here. So when, as you start going uphill, you can see I'm going to sprint as I approach the top. I'm not even going to go into how I do that power slide. It's The timing on it is really weird and precise, and I don't even... It's just one of those things. You just have to get better with experience. I honestly cannot help you with that one. <laughs> yeah. You want to boost anyway. When you're, when you're kind of near the top here of this hill, you want to boost and just use that, you know, the downward to tail the slope. You want to just not really boost again for a little bit. You just use it to carry you down. Obviously, as well, you want to stay to the right side of this hill. So, yeah. So, once you reach the grass section, as soon as you reach it, you want to boost. And that's because there's a lot of wind on this section. Wind that pushes you forwards. So, just by boosting, as soon as you get on the grass section, you can use the wind. You can get speed from the wind and it can carry you forwards. And then, for the rest of the grass section, you just don't boost. Just don't boost and just regain a little bit of stamina. And then you'll see, you'll see once I reach that big rock pillar, you'll see, just pay attention, you'll see how I start to turn right pretty sharply after I get to this little pillar. And right now I'm turning right as tightly as I can. Don't worry about hitting the rock wall, 
you you just won't hit it. You just won't. So yeah, turn right when you reach that rock pillar as tightly as you can, and then once you approach, and then once you approach the end of the grass section, you can then boost and keep turning right as well. So now, you see how this is a massive downward hill. You want to use this to get back as much stamina as you can. So you don't really want to boost on this section. So when you're about here, you want to obviously you want to turn left with the turn. It's another one of those again. Don't worry about falling off. You just won't. <laughs> so once once you get to about the middle of this bend, you want to boost. It like it's one of one of those. It kind of manipulates the auto steer. I don't even know how to describe how it does, but it just does. And also, you want to use that boost to just kind of carry you. You're not going to boost again all the way into the bottom of the hill. So just stick to the right here. Don't hit the wall because it messes. If you hit the wall on the right, it your bike bounces off it. And it, it's just it makes this next section terrible to try and do. So yeah, once you reach the bottom of the hill here, you want to boost to just carry the speed from the hill onto the bridge. And now I'm going to try and describe this next part as thoroughly as I can to make you understand why. From here all the way until the turn off the bridge you don't want to boost. Your next boost after this is going to be on the turn over here off the bridge. So <laughs> I'm going to try and explain this well because it's really important. So you want to kind of as you're approaching the bridge you want to stick to the left side. This is the path you want to take. From here, you basically want to take a straight line to this corner. So you'll see, you want to go kind of straight. And you want to you want to enter the bridge on the left side here. You want to stick to the left. And then once you reach the center of the bridge, you want to turn right as, like, as tightly as you can to just get that corner really nicely. And then obviously, once you actually have turned and you've reached this grass section, then you boost again. And I'm going to go over the, that grass section quickly because it's not too advanced, but it's a small part I should probably mention. Once you reach about the center of the grass section, like when you when this dark green line meets the, the light green line, you want to start turning left pretty hardly. Don't worry about falling off on this turn. It's not going to happen if you have enough speed. So I don't really have anything to say about that one. Just, I guess, once you approach the turn, you just want to boost. Same with this section. There's not really much to say. Just, you know, just ration your stamina well. Don't waste it all immediately. And just, when you're, once you're going around this, like, bend here, you want to stay in the middle of the path. Because it means you can actually see further ahead and see the rocks and actually react to it. Because you can see I stay in the middle, and because I'm in the middle, I can see this rock early, and so I know, okay, go left around it. So you, so you see where this arrow is and this fence, that's when the downhill starts. So by the time you reach that area, you want no stamina, because it's the big downhill and you can regain stamina. So, so yeah, what, try and just kind of use all your stamina by the time you reach this area. You'll see how there's like a little bump in the path here. I just use my stamina to sprint over it. And I'd recommend doing the same if you have stamina. Which you should. Because it's the same thing every time. Now this section here. There's not really much for me to say. Just try and stick close to the right wall without hitting it. And just try not to boost too much. Because you're getting stamina. Just from the big hill. There's a little small thing I want to mention. This part of the wall, this corner, once you get past it, you can turn right super tightly. Like, once you get past this corner here, you'll see, once you get past it, turn right as hard as you can, and just keep turning right until you reach the actual entrance of the tunnel. Because of just the auto steer, it stops you from hitting the wall, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, same deal here, just stick towards the right end of the wall. Once you get to about this part here, you want to start moving more towards the middle so you can get on this path safely. In terms of the exact positioning to, you know, not fall in the water when you enter this area, I can't really help you there. It's just something you learn with experience, I guess. And then just same deal here. Just try not to boost too much. 
just try and ride down the hill I'm not using stamina and keep towards a, as much to the right side as you can because it's just faster so the bridge turn not difficult but it's awkward so what you, you want to turn right when you enter the bridge pretty tightly don't worry about falling off the right side of the bridge it's not going to happen so when you're about here where i am you want to sprint not boost you want to pedal and keep pedaling until you're about halfway across the bridge and you'll see me do that i'm going to sprint all the way until i'm about halfway across the bridge and then i stop and then just stick to the right side when, once you come off the bridge you kind of want to stick more towards the right side and then once you exit the tunnel then you want to move more towards the left as you'll see me do so this turn here is not hard but it i see a lot of people do it wrong so what the goal is here so first of all let me just say this does you see how there's an upward slope here you just want to boost obviously you want to kind of sprint up it you like keep pedaling constantly until you're over the hill And then I'm going to get to the actual <laughs> bend when we reach it. So what you want to do is once you reach about here, you want to turn left and keep turning left tightly. And then just keep turning left and then, oop, that's my PC's on low battery. And then once you reach this part here, you want to keep turning left while you sprint, by the way. No, not sprint. You want to keep turning left and you want to boost. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> you just do the turn nicely. And from that boost that I just did, all the way to this little hump over here, you don't want to boost. Just let that, because you're on a slight downwards hill, you just want to let it carry you all the way down until you reach this section. And then, it's kind of the opposite thing here to the other bend. Now here, you want to hold right as tightly as you can. And it's a little hill as well, so you want to boost as you go over it. Just try and avoid the rocks. I don't really have any advice there. Just don't hit them, I guess. That's all I can say. Here. So yeah, once you get on the grass, if you're power sliding, you're going to... I don't even want to get into how you do the power slide. It's really awkward timing, and it's just another one of those you learn with experience as you play. But yeah, so you just if you're not doing power slides, you just want to hold left as tightly as you can. That's all I can say, really. And that's about it for the race. There's not really any other weird technical things. Same with that power slide there. I can't really give advice except just you just get better with practice. It's not something you can just do the same thing every time. It's weird and awkward timings. The only thing here I want to say is you just kind of want to stick towards the left side of the fence once you I'm about here. Just stick towards the left side and then once you've actually gone past this corner then you just want to go straight to this corner here. Don't bother with this power slide. It's not worth it. <laughs> and then that's it for the race, I guess. It gets a lot easier towards the end, but yeah, there's a lot of weird technical things. I hope this video wasn't too long, but I tried to explain everything as thoroughly as I thought was needed. So I guess I'm sorry for the length if it's quite long. I hope it helped.